Ooh, oh, delivery? What could this be? Oh, I've been waiting for this. What is Sign on, guys. Uh, hi, hi. Best, fresh, best ramen from all over. The oh, this is, I've been waiting for this from Zen Market. No way. No way. This is perfect timing because I am starving. Yeah, okay, there you go. You just take this. I think that's how it's supposed to work. If it was real, you take that and then we're good. Okay, thank you. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Let's get Mega Brain. Mega Brain, oh you're sleeping? No way, dude. Come on, man. We got a video to do. Ramen. Got a whole bunch of different fresh ramens from all over Japan. It's, this box is heavy. Feel how heavy this is. You feel that? Hey, man. It's dinner time. Oh yeah, I got the goods. Ramen. This is fresh ramen. Yep. Company in Osaka sent this to me. Yep, I've really been looking forward to this. Oh boy, look at this jackpot! This is from uh, Hakodate, Hokkaido, the Northern Island. Yep, it's this one. Kyoto. Each one has, I think there's there's two in each pack. Nice, nice, nice. Tokyo whole bunch of different ones. This is going to be a feast. Oh yeah. So this is a sponsored video you guys. So at the end of this video I won't be ranking it because of well possible conflicts of interest I guess. Uh, but at the end of this video there is going to be a giveaway. Okay so stay tuned for that and hopefully I can still wake up Mega Brain and have him join me to eat. And for those of you who don't know, let me introduce myself. My name is Eric Surf Six, and this is Eric Mealtime. So each of these boxes has two servings of ramen inside, and the cost for these is about six dollars a box, so three dollars a serving. And there'll be a link down below if you guys want to order these for yourself. Yep, I'll be reviewing them here in a minute, and I'm really excited to do this. So the big question is, which one to try first? I'm liking this one right here. Yep, Hakodate Ramen. This one is a salty soup stock, and it's got kelp, seaweed, and seafood. Should be good. This guy knows what he's doing. Yeah, there's the noodles. Yeah, it's looking pretty fresh. They're not like the cup ramen. This is soft. This is, yeah, it's, it's not freeze dried. It's gonna be good, huh? Yep, so you get you get two packs, right? Two packs of ramen in each one, so two servings, and then there's the uh, soup stock right there. That is a pretty nice looking ramen right there. So how do you get it to look like this? You gotta have your own toppings, that's right. So there's the egg, these are bean sprouts, and what is that? This is like a fish cake, and pork, oh, a chashu. And then you got some noti seaweed, dried seaweed right there. That's what's going to make it look like this. I hope. I'm not strong in the kitchen, but we're going to make it happen. Okay, so here we go. Eric in the kitchen. I'm a little bit nervous, but you guys are requested for me to come into the kitchen and make things happen, so I'm going to do my best. Here we go. Heating water. I think I can handle that, right? Heat it up. This is some spinach here I'm going to add in to the ramen. So the ramen is going to cook for two minutes and then the spinach I'll add in for the last minute. And the amount of water that I'm going to pour into the bowl for the soup is 300 milliliters. Do you guys know how much that is if you live in America? It's, well, let's see, like a beer can is 350 milliliters. Is there a beer can around here somewhere? Yeah, this is 350 milliliters. So let me wash this out. Uh-huh. Or not even wash it out. Hey, the beer would be extra flavor. So yeah, you know, I don't do measuring cups, but yeah. Basically a standard beer or soda is 350 milliliters. So 300, go up to about there. And that's gonna be just about right. 
Oh, that's rich, rich soup stock right there. It's really good. Okay, and 300 milliliters. What happened to that beer can? Lost the beer can. <laughs> Wait a minute. What happened to the beer can? What was it? You threw it away. You stiffed up. <laughs> The camera person threw away my measuring cup, my measuring can. Oh, that's hot! God, that's hot! It's okay, I can't prepare it. I have a glove. It's going right through the glove. 300 milliliters, perfectly measured. Yeah. Smells very interesting. Like nothing I've ever smelled before. Kind of smells like uh, caramel corn. No, it can't be. Ramen man, it's almost ready. Let's do this, buddy. Put the noodles in, huh? And these are gonna be in for three minutes. So, boom, there they go. And I got a timer right here, make sure I get it just right. Okay, counting down. And the last minute, I'm going to put in the spinach. All right, so this is going to go in. This is for all five bowls of ramen that we're going to be eating. Oh, yeah, look at these golden brown. It's like McDonald's french fries. Look how amazing that looks. Nama ramen, this stuff, it's not freeze dried. That's the amazing thing, this stuff. Yeah, it's fresh ramen that you can order through the mail. How cool is that? And they sent to all countries all over the world. Okay, here we go, coming down to one minute, and in goes the spinach. Oh, this looks so good. 10 seconds. And fire off. Oh, I spilled it. Whoops. Okay, and into the strainer we go. Now we're just gonna add our toppings and bon appetit, boiled egg. That was a pretty easy peel, pretty easy. Yeah. Okay, here goes. Cut it lengthwise and that, uh, perfection. One of these in here, looks pretty good. Okay, let's go to the table and get the other toppings. Yeah. Okay, so does it look like the picture? Not quite. Not quite. Let's add some bean sprouts. And try to make mine look better than the picture. There you go, bean sprouts right there. Come up, go. Or this is also called Naruto. And then look at this pork. Oh, the main event right here. Cha shu. Put that in. There you go. So what do you guys think? I think mine looks better. If I don't mind saying so myself. Mm-hmm. Soak that pork in there. Heat it up a little bit. This is a salty kelp, seaweed, and seafood soup stock. Going in, mix it up a little bit. God, this looks so good. Can't believe this. I've never ever made my own ramen, except just cup ramen where you add the water. This is 10 times better. Going in for the soup. Salty. Oh, rich. Ah, that's good. That is amazing. All right, let's have some of the noodles here. Noodles and moashi bean sprouts together. So I got more moashi than I got ramen. Let's just do the ramen by itself. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, so much better than cup ramen. 
like night and day. The ramen, the noodles are so soft. Incredible. How do they do it? It's just like going to a ramen restaurant. No different. Okay, let's try some of this pork. You've got this tonight. Mm. Oh, roast pork. Ah, oh, it's so good in ramen. It goes so well together. So chomp on the egg right away too. Soak it a little bit. Mm. Yeah, and that's how you make it a whole meal. You add the toppings. That is a really nice bowl of ramen. Mm. Okay, I'm going to share the rest with the camera person. And then we got four more to do. Four more coming up. How about this one? Kyoto ramen. Oh, let's have a look inside. Let's see what this one looks like. There's the soup or the stock. Oh, look at these. These are straight thin noodles. I like these better. Yeah. Get the soup for the Kyoto ramen. There it goes the thin noodles going in. Trying to make a soft boiled egg here. I don't know how that's gonna work. Look at the dark soup. Oh my gosh, it smells really potent. Really, really potent. And it says it looks salty, but it's it's not so salty. It's a pure soy sauce. That's why it's such a dark soup. Mm-hmm. And these are Chinese buckwheat noodles. Mm-hmm. So changing up the toppings a little bit here. This egg is different. It looks the same, but this is a soft boiled egg. See, look, it's still working on how to cook this to try to figure it out, but you can see there, it's it's only half, it's a half boiled egg, okay? Yeah, a little bit softer. And this one, we're gonna add some nori. So you wanna get, you wanna put it in about halfway. That's the way they do it in Japan. They sort of do it like this so that you can keep part of it dry and then the rest of it wet so you can eat it Sort of however you like. Mm -hmm. And then same as round one, we'll put in some of the bean sprouts. The kamaboko. And my favorite, roast pork. Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay, does it look like the picture on the box? Let's have a look. <clears throat> I think mine looks way better. What do you think? Look at this, they went one, two, three. This is like a serious meat lovers, right? They've got like 10 pieces of pork, but I have to save mine because I'm eating five different ramens. So it's gonna be two each, I think. It's not as strong as I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. Sort of a show you and salt taste together. But these noodles I'm really excited about. These long, thin noodles straight noodles oh they're a little bit on the hard side but chewy still that's the amazing thing about these these noodles are chewy mmm And it's okay in Japan to slurp ramen. Okay, what I'm really interested in <coughs> is this attempt at making a soft boiled egg. Oh, it's so hot. I should wait, it, I should wait for it to cool down maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna wait a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's try the nori. Nori is like shrinking down. Once it goes in the water, it shrinks down to nothing. Hmm. Which way is it better? It's better when it's dunked in the soup. Oh, way better. Yeah, you, know, you got to saturate it in the soup stock. Oh boy. All right, let's go for the egg. Half boiled egg.
with noodles. <clears throat> oh boy. It's really amazing. Half boiled egg. I gotta figure out exactly how to cook it perfectly and then I'll make a video and show you guys how to do it because it's, it's, it's tricky. Maybe you guys already know how to cook a half boiled egg or a soft boiled egg. If you know, drop it down in the comments. There's definitely a technique. <clears throat> I love this dark soup. <clears throat> Again, it's just like eating at a ramen shop. It's like having a ramen shop in your house if you have if you have this stuff, you know. Mm hmm. Each one feels like a full meal. Mmm. Mmm mmm mmm. Kyoto ramen. That's a good one. Next up is going to be the Tokyo ramen. Mm hmm. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, just dump her out. Oh, these are sort of the curled noodles. And the broth is made from a chicken and dried sardines stock. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Interesting. So here we go. Tokyo ramen. It smells amazing. It's that chicken and fish stock. Yeah. All right. Let's get the toppings in here. I'm gonna go for the greens this time. Mm-hmm. Yep, a few more bean sprouts. Come on, Boko. What's something new this time? We have burdock root. This is some of my favorite. Favorite. What? Root foods. Yeah, you know, it grows down into the ground. Burdock root, it's probably my favorite one. More pork. Got two left. We got, we got two left, so we got a. Uh... Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's compare it to the picture. Gotta always compare it to the picture. And this one looks totally different. Well, it's got the egg. This could be burdock root. It's probably something else. Pork. Yeah. I think mine looks better. What do you guys think? It's pretty good, right? Got the half-boiled egg down this time. Look at that. That is looking really nice. That's just about masterpiece level. Okay, going in. Let's start out with the burdock root. This is good. This is called gobo in Japanese. It's everywhere. Kimpira gobo. Oh. Oh. So good. It's marinated in shoyu. Mmm. All right, first, first things first. Well, actually, it's the second thing. Got to try the soup. Wow, that's bursting with flavor. Way to go, Tokyo. I like that a lot. Yeah, combination chicken and sardine fish stock. Nice, but how are the noodles? These noodles only needed to be cooked like a minute and a half, two minutes. All right, they're the curly, thin noodles. Pretty darn good. Gummy. Let's go for the beef. I mean the pork. Oh, so good. This is definitely my favorite topping. Mm. I'll show you how the Japanese eat. <clears throat> um, they do it like this. They get a spoon going. This is hard for me to do. 
I, I'll get a little bit of noodles. I'll dip some in here like this, and then it's kind of like. All right? Something like that. So you don't have to pick up the bowl. All right? You got your soup. And you can kind of, you know, put whatever you want in your spoonful. And then. Mm-hmm. Something like that. All right? Do we go for the soft-boiled egg? <clears throat> yes. This is the third time we tried to cook these. Third time? Second time. Still a little bit cooked too much. A little bit less cooking would be good, but then it's really hard to get the white of the egg solid. That's the trick. But we've got two ramens left, so we're going to keep working on the soft-boiled egg. Okay, next up, this one's called Sanno Ramen from Tochigi Prefecture, Japan. And this one, let's see what it looks like. Oh, oh I like these. This is like Pad Thai noodles from Thailand. I like the noodles, this sort of fatter noodle. New topping. Corn is always good with ramen, right? Gives it the color. But these noodles are what I'm really interested in here. Look at these noodles. They're like Thai, Pad Thai noodles. I love these noodles. Yeah, let's get some nori dried seaweed in there. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 incoming. There's more. Got pork. Oh, Joshua. Never get tired of this. Yeah. A little bit of green. Okay, here we go. Let's compare it to the picture. Let's see how we did. Which one looks better? You guys let me know. Here you go. You know, you just... Oh, mine looks way better. Mine looks way better. All right, let's give it a try. This one smells very potent. Mm-hmm. And these are buckwheat noodles. And what kind of sauce is this? Let me take a look real quick here. Let me see my cheat sheet. It's a soy sauce, it's a rich soy sauce, and it's a chewy, smooth noodle. Okay, this time I'm going in for the noodles first. God, I love these. It looks like Thai noodles, which are my favorite. Pad Thai noodles. Love Pad Thai noodles. But this is ramen, Japanese ramen. Oh. oh, best one so far. What can I say? Super chewy, super delicious. Smooth, it just kind of melts in your mouth more than the others. You don't have to chew it that much. Pretty basic soup. A bit salty. I'm not tasting much show you. Shashu, baby. Roasted pork. Mm. Mm. Half dried, half wet seaweed. Oh, perfection. I don't know, the problem here is how do you eat the corn? Well, if I had a spoon, I could get in there. Mm. I like corn as a topping. All right, so I almost forgot to introduce my new guest. He, I believe he's awake now, this is What's his name? Mega Brain 6100. No? He's not ready yet. Yeah. He had a hard day of school today. And he's, for those of you who don't know, he's my younger son. 
and he's in high school right now. He's in his last year of high school in Japan, and he has a part-time job now working for a moving company. So on Saturdays and Sundays, he's doing that. So he's, he's getting buff. Yeah, so I don't know. I guess today was like a hard day of school, so... But we still have one more ramen to go. I think he's probably smelling this. He's, he's, well, we can make him smell it. Come on, buddy. You ready? Just take a bite, man. This is, this is one of the best ones. No, he's not ready to wake up yet. Yeah, hope he wakes up for the last and final. Okay. Oh, so good. I love the spinach. You know what? I think this bowl of ramen might just be the best one yet. I really like the noodles a lot, but the soup, I don't know. I don't know. The noodles, though, amazing. Do a little bit more of the soup. Yeah, salty, but it's a pretty good bowl. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. That's one, two, three, four down, and last one to go right here. I tried to save the best one for last. This is Asahi Kawa Ramen, which is up in the northern, the northern, northern Japan. Yep, and this one's got like a really thick soup and the noodles are hmm hard wavy noodles this one's gonna be interesting let's just pour it out and take a peek here we go oh yeah and i'll tell you about the giveaway right now we're gonna give away the remaining one ramen that's left in each box right so we're just eating we're eating one each time so there's still gonna be one left in each box that I will send to somebody and you're just gonna to have to leave a comment down below okay so here we go this is the last ramen number five of five and I'm being joined by ready I'm being joined by mega brain 6100 or Pikachu sleeping Come on, man. The last one, I saved the best one for last. I don't think he's gonna get up. All right. Well, at least you got to see him. <laughs> yeah, uh, so, last one. This, the aroma of this one is, is the strongest. This is the oiliest rum, and I saved this one for last because I thought I was gonna enjoy it the most, but you know, I'm not really sure. So, let's dress them up. Into the toppings going in. Yeah, this is the bonanza round. Everything's going in. Uh huh. Let me get some gobo. Yeah, a lot of gobo. Oh, yeah, we love the burdock root. Yep. What else? All the spinach. All the spinach is going in. Yeah, all of the spinach. So with ramen, you got to try to keep the different toppings in separate areas to make it look good. That's what I've learned about ramen display. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go big on the outside. This is going to be, I like the, doing the nori all the way around, like halfway around. All right, so there it is. You Let me deliver it to you guys. Okay, and last but not least... This is a half-boiled egg, okay? And I think I got it just perfect. I think I got it perfect. I think I got it perfect. Hang on. Oh! No, that's a raw egg. Yeah, that is a raw egg. <laughs> Whoops. Just for fun here. Hopefully it'll cook a little bit and not be so raw. Okay, what have I created? <laughs> it's a monster. 
Does it look like the photo on the box? Yeah, look, see all the raw egg around there. See? Look, there's all kinds of yellow around that pork. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm guessing this is going to be the best one. Where do we start? Let's go in for the noodles. Thin noodles. Curly. Uh-huh. Oh my. Mmm. That is delightful. Oh boy. Woo! No, it's going for some soup. The soup I'm very interested in. Because it's oily. It's the oiliest of. Can you see that? Look how oily that is. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking it's gonna be a rich, very rich taste. Hands down the best soup of all five. Asahi Kawa Ramen. Oh, yeah. If, if you guys like rich soup, remember the box. This is the one. Killer soup. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's 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 try to work it here. Get some of the toppings. You got to mix it all together. Mm-hmm. 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 That's the way you do it. Oh, look at that. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know what? That raw egg has cooked into a half-boiled egg. Yes, it has. It's not gooey. Mm-hmm. Sunny side up. Oh my gosh. This by far is the best one. Asahi Kao Ramen. Oh, delicious. This calls for something to drink. Let's have a fat tire. A fat tire Belgian beer? Woo! Oh, yeah. Pour it onto ice. Yeah. Yeah, this is a good beer. I haven't had this in a long time. Yeah. Belgian beer. Mm hmm. It's a lot of foam. I'm going to wait for it to cool down a little bit first. This is warm. <laughs> Room temperature beer. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, I just love the soup. The soup on this one is the best. Can I tell you how they describe it? Let's see, what do they say here? It's a curled soy sauce, very oily soup stock. Thin, hard, wavy noodles. Yeah. I saved the best one for last, definitely. That was the best one right there. Mm-hmm. Got to let the camera person try that out. Yeah, before we give our, not ratings, we're just going to say which ones are the best. So this is my favorite one right here. <clears throat> the Asahi Kawa Ramen, Northern Japan. Very tasty. Mm -hmm. But as far as the noodles, <clears throat> I like the noodles from this one. That's kind of the fatty noodles. Mm -hmm. I like this one the best for just the noodles, but the soup I didn't like the best. So it's, it's definitely... A combination of noodles and soup stock that make ramen. Well, and then toppings as well, too. Yeah. So I would personally like to thank 
Who is it that I'm thanking for this? This is the first time I've ever done a sponsored video, so I don't want to screw this up. I would like to thank Zen Market for sponsoring this video. Honestly, it's the first sponsored video that I've done, so I, I'm, I was really nervous. Let me make sure I say the right thing here so that we can make this business agreement valid. And you guys can go ahead and hate on me if you want, if you think I'm a sellout or whatever. Um, but to me, I put a lot of work into this video cooking because I never cook, right? So to me, this was a new experience, how to make real ramen. Yeah, it's not cup ramen. That's the thing about this ramen is that this is fresh. This is, this is Nama ramen. So this stuff, I mean, it's it's made fresh. It's not freeze dried like cup ramens. So it has a shelf life of like you know a month, two month, two months max. Let's see, this is good until the end of October. So what I'm gonna do is have a giveaway here, okay? And the only thing you need to do, there's one ramen set left in each one of these packs, okay? So let's do the giveaway first. Giving away every single one of them and. Camera person, which one did you like the best? Can you point out the ramen that you like the best? Because you helped. It was the, yeah, this, uh, this one's backwards. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> which one? You like this one the best? Yeah, that was the Hakodate ramen from Kyushu as well too. So we like these. And on the website, if you guys want to check it out, there's a link down below. It's like right in the top. Yeah, links down below. It's in the comments as well too. And I'm gonna give away all five of these, okay? And if you don't feel like trying to win one of these, that's cool too, because you can buy them as well. And the only thing you need to do is go check out the link below and you can um, <laughs> you can go to the website. And it's they ship internationally, that's what's really cool. So what do I have to say? I have to say one thing, otherwise I don't get paid. This is so bad. I'm never gonna do another sponsor video again, I promise. This is gonna be the only one ever. So I need to remind the viewers at the end of the video to check us out and why. Why? Why should you guys go check out this company? Well, I went and checked out their website and <laughs> it's a great site. They offer so many different kinds of ramen. It's a bilingual site, so all the information's in English. And these only sell for like six bucks a pack, so you're getting two meals out of each pack. I think it's pretty good value, and they ship worldwide, and they make it really super easy. They take all forms of payment, whatever. No obligation. You guys don't have to buy any of this crap if you don't want to, because you can just win it by putting a comment down below. But if you're interested in buying some of this, then definitely check these guys out. Zen Market. Yep. So that's going to do it. On behalf of myself and Megabrain6100. Yeah, sorry guys. I really hope that he would join me for this video, but <laughs> I mean, he's kind of here. <laughs> so that's, that's going to do it for this one. Cheers. And I look forward to reading your comments. Comment below. I will announce the winners to the giveaway for all five of these amazing boxes of ramen. They're all good. Can't go wrong. This stuff blows away cup ramen. It's way better than any other instant ramen I've ever had, honestly. So that's the way I feel. No one to six ranking this time, but I told you the one that I liked the best, and it was, which one was it? This one, the last one. Yeah, Asahi Cup Ramen. If you guys want to order, yeah, I mean, you could just, just order this one. Spend six bucks and get two servings of this. This stuff is killer! And yeah, uh, the camera person enjoyed this one the most. That was the first one, the Hakodate Ramen, also Kyushu, Northern Japan. So, so these two we recommend the most, okay? But hey, ramen is all about individual taste. So you guys, go at it. The link's down below. Comment down below, and I'll see you in the next Eric Mealtime. Eric and Dude's got it. No, he's not the Dude's got it. This is my other son. This is Mega Brain 6100. Resting his brain for a future video. You guys will see him soon, I promise. See you later.